Hello, Bill. My name is Sean Everett, and I am the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Jeff. He sent your website over to me for analysis, so I'm not going to waste another minute. Uh, to begin with, you have a beautiful site, clearly. Uh, you guys have spent some money on it, you know, getting it to look so beautiful. And uh, <clears throat> I wish I could tell you that I was here for that. I'll, I'll tell you that a beautiful website is kind of like having a car that has had a, a new paint job because you can pull up to your friends and you'll say, hey, let's go for a ride, and they'll jump in. Same thing here. People will jump in once they get here. The problem is getting them here. And I'm going to start with the problem, and then I'm going to show you what the solution is. I hope that you uh, will stick with me on this. Um, I have a paid tool called Ahrefs. This was the number of clicks you had on your site last month. So this tool gives me not only some of your metrics, but it also tells me uh, how your site has been performing. You spend a lot of money on that site. You should be getting more than three clicks a month. Now, the next thing I do in an uh, uh, analyzation, an analyzement, analysis. <laughs> I guess English left me for a moment there. Um, is I do a Google search, in this case for Emmonsville, Indiana roofers. And this is where I need to describe a little bit about how Google works, because you and I both know how we use Google, how we find things, and just think about your own experience when you're look, listening to what I'm saying. Now, um, most things on the internet are found with Google, uh, or if somebody is going to your business card and they decide to type in all the letters at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> so on Google, everything is determined by a, the Google algorithm. Um, and the Google algorithm was decided, uh, it was created by Google to satisfy the search uh, customers that Google has. And so they say that they want to have the most relevant results for their search customers. And to me, relevancy would be somebody that has a good work ethic and uses good materials. But to Google, uh, a relevancy means they have a good website, more or less. Uh, and the Google algorithm is looking for a few specific things. So um, at the very top of a Google search, you're going to find what they call the sponsored uh, listings. Now, those are essentially paid, uh, but sponsored makes it sound like they're helping out the Little League, I guess. So now below that is what we call the map pack because they're attached to this lovely map over here. And these folks did something that uh, some of the folks below that have not done, and that is fill out a uh, Google business profile. Uh, it's going to ask you things uh, like what year you started your business, uh, what your hours are on a daily basis, and also there's some click boxes there. It's not much different than a Facebook profile, but obviously it's just about your business. Now, the goal of filling out a Google business profile is to get here because up near the top is where you want to be. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to scroll down fast. Boom, it stopped right there all by itself at the related searches. You can do this on your own with your mouse. Just spin that mouse and see where it stops. That's the bottom of page one, essentially. And um, anything below page one, studies have shown are not going to get much use, not many views. And that's a problem because <clears throat> you have a beautiful website, as I mentioned. So underneath the map pack, we have what we call the organic search results. Again, these are all determined by the Google algorithm, which is looking for very specific metrics. Now, the first actual roofer I come across is Bone Dry Roofing. Uh, they say they're an Evansville roofer. Uh, I think that they are probably uh, larger than that, but they have a page that says that's true. And so that's what the Google algorithm believes. So that's... Uh, <laughs> All it takes to, uh, you know, have the truth be on uh, Google is just to make a page that says that's true. So, um, yeah, they look, they made a whole page just for Evansville. Um, anyway, um, so uh, they are what I'm going to refer to as your uh, Google competitor. Now, you have a more dynamic site. I think it's more attractive, but <clears throat> like I say, the attractiveness of it doesn't really so important as, as the what's inside of it, what's under the hood. Now, uh, I'm going to do something really fast. I'm going to select all, copy, and paste your website into this word counter. Uh, you have 374 words, which isn't 
bad. Let me show you this. I'm going to do the same for them. Copy and paste into another word counter. There we go. 765 words. Now, an algorithm is looking for more, essentially. More and better. And uh, 765 definitely beats 374. I'm sorry, but it does. But on the plus side, 765 doesn't come close to what Google actually wants. Google, this is about half of what Google is asking for. They want 1,500 words on your homepage. The reason they want that is because they want a web page that is going to be informative for their search customers, something that's going to teach them about something, something that's going to inform them in a way that they haven't been informed before. So they're asking for 1,500 words. Now, it may seem like a lot, but it's really not. And the reason I'm saying that is that all words are not equal. I'm going to go back to that paid tool that I have. Here we go. Keywords. That's what I'm talking about. Keywords are the words in your industry. They're not words that are, you know, special to anywhere else. You know what the keywords are in your industry already. And sometimes they have to do with a location, you know, like... Um, Evansville and if there's a, a community nearby that you service or if there's a particularly large neighborhood that has its own identity those sorts of things those could be keywords too <clears throat> now I'm going to show you what uh, you have 36 keywords and bone dry has if it'll load for me here we go <laughs> oh 10,800 so, uh, it, again, in that little race, you're a little behind the curve. But I'm going to show you what their keywords are, because that's what this tool helps me do. Uh, commercial roof repair, uh, Indianapolis, uh, Louisville, uh, metal roofer in, roof installers near me, rain gutters near me. You see, it has to do with a lot of the things that roofers do, gutters and, and metal roofs and, uh, you know, TPO and flat roof and all the sorts of questions that I'm sure that your uh, uh, sales team get when they go out chimney flashing. That was another good one. Um, all of those things are things that your uh, sales department probably encounters on a regular basis. These are the keywords. So you need to get more of those on your site. You don't necessarily have to have the 10,800, but you can certainly bring the number up from 36, and that will help your standing in the Google search results. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about are your backlinks. A backlink is where there is a link back to your site on some other site. For instance, Yelp, you know. Uh, uh, so let me show you. Uh, you have 118. Bone Dry has 43,700. However, the number should really only be about double that, the referring domains. They should only really have about 600 backlinks. That means they have a lot of garbage backlinks. And let me show you what I'm talking about, uh, in addition to their good backlinks. Now, a good backlink would be something that is uh, rated in, say, the 70s or higher. So clearly, Home Advisor is one. Expertise.com, Yellow Pages, uh, Local Yahoo, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, anything below that, uh, anything below the 70s, well, even in some of the 70s, Yasabe.com or Fipple.com, apparently GravityHelp.com. I don't, <laughs> I don't know that gravity needs any help. I fall pretty readily when it comes up. Um, so uh, any of these are are kind of trash. I bet I go down here to page six and there are a bunch of them that are not rated. Look, they're not even higher than a two rating. Nobody goes to the willinghamnewsblogspot.com to get their roofer advice. They just don't. So there are a lot of junk in here. You don't have to worry about such a large number. You don't have to beat that number. All you have to do is get valuable backlinks. That's what the the algorithm is looking for. It's looking for three things, and I've told you what they are. One, uh, fill out this uh, Google business profile really well. Two, get better keywords. And three, get more backlinks. Now, uh, you can do all of these yourself. I'm not going to lie to you. These are. I mean, I'm not telling you to do something that involves brain surgery, but. All of these things are time intensive and, and do require a certain amount of expertise and experience to get them done right. So that's where I'm hoping 
that you might give Eric a call, uh, give him the task of you know spending all of his time doing that. He would be happy to walk you through the next steps. Listen, I hope I've been helpful to you about your website. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.